Yeah, a while back I had a request to put a video on for conditioning your forearms. I'm going to show you a couple ways I condition my forearms. I'm going to add in the shins also. I'm going to use this grimace stick here. Um, one way I do is put it on the floor. I'm going to take my forearm. I'm going to place it down on it and then I'm going to roll it. And then I'm also going to get the outside of it. Uh, what I do is pick like a time, like 30 seconds or one minute or I'll pick a number. I change up on it. I don't always do the same thing. So I could pick a number like maybe 20 or 30 times on each. So I'm going to just pick out a little bit of number here. I'm going to put it down and go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I just pick it out like that and I'll go off the other side. Uh, what I do, I put a little pressure on it and I don't just do it lightly. Uh, you can do it at your own pace. And if you don't want to sit there and put mad pressure on it right away, it's not going to be very comfortable. Um, so from here, the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what I'll do is take it on this side. I'll, I'll turn my thumb out like this and place that down on there and roll it across. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I go to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that's a great way to condition your forearms. And uh, there's another way to do it is the tapping of it. So the tapping there, you've got to be careful with it. Sometimes you can do damage to your bone more so than you will hear. So the tapping is to just tap it up and down. And we do it on this side. And then I also do this for my shin. I'll take his here, I'll roll my pants. And then I'll go three ways. You go on the angle here, which gets the, the flat part of your shin. You get in the front here, which gets the sharp part of the shin. And then I get the nerves. So what I'll do is roll it like this. And what I do is, I do it a number. You go like maybe 20, 20, 20, or one minute, one minute, one minute. I do that with my shins. And I go to the other leg, same thing, the flat end, get the bone here, get the front here, get the sharp part, and get the nerve end. These, you do hit all three parts of your shin when you're kicking sometimes. So if you have a harder shin and then your nerves are kind of toughened up and then you'll be able to last a lot longer when you do that. I've seen guys drop from getting the shins hit. So you want to have that condition. Here's why we get the, here's my more extreme way of doing it is uh, getting the, the front stuff. So I'll take myself, put the stick down, I'll put my legs right on it, hands in front and then I kind of rock my legs back and forth on this stick. That one that hurts a little bit more, you just got your weight on there more. So there's a couple ways that I condition my shins and my uh, forearms. Um, thanks for watching.